Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Vampire here. I wanted to post my experiences with the PS5 pre-order nightmare. The chaos that ensued last night, the servers that melted down, and just everything that was the PS5 pre-orders from last night. One of my good friends and community members, Homer Fan, brought this to my attention and suggested I do a video about this this morning. So thanks to Homer Fan for the suggestion, and here we are. Uh, basically, last night, I think around eight to eight thirty. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Word on the street got out that Target's PS5 pre-orders right here went live. And a couple of uh, my friends and community members were able to secure themselves a PS5 copy. As soon as the word hit the PSN messages, I ran inside, ran down the stairs, was completely out of breath. And you would know if you've watched my streams before, uh, that happens quite often when I take them stairs. And I took them with the fervor almost falling down and breaking my ankle, but we survived. We got over to the computer. We loaded up Target.com. We saw the pre-order button in this general area right here. just hammering it and out of stock. I was like, no! So next thing I did was I, I jumped on uh, Walmart. I heard Walmart actually went up before. We'll see if we can pre-order now. <gasps> no, no, absolutely not. This, this guy right here, we've been seeing that loading screen a lot. But, yeah, we tried to get the pre-order on Walmart. I heard Walmart went out within two minutes. I think Target was out within ten minutes, something like that. We're like, all right, what about GameStop? GameStop was actually saying I was blocked from accessing the site. I guess their cloud fare blew up. And it's still in my cart as of this morning. I want the disc version because I like physical media. You can usually get better deals on it, and I just like the discs my opinion uh your shopping cart cannot be ordered since one or more of the products in your cart are not available in the requested quantity please check availability for each product while well, i'm checking it says zero items are available for pre-order and yeah not working there so uh we, we went to the reddit people are melting down people are going crazy check the ps5 reddit man people are still losing their minds when are we going to get the ps5 pre-orders when is it going to work well guess what best buy went up these actually said pre-order pre-order here i hammered it we had it in the cart and for the next three hours we had the spinning loading sign of doom here on best buy and we were unable to secure a pre-order after about three hours of, of, of clicking on that we were playing the avengers during that so every time we died and whatnot or the mission loaded up kept trying to load it and at one point i actually got to the account login screen and it was sitting there sitting there for about five seven minutes and finally crashed sometimes it would empty the cart you could add it back to the cart then it was says there was a system error temporary unavailable yada 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 and we're just unable to get the the, the pre-order done on that but we kept trying throughout the night Never got to the place order screen. I got to the credit card screen once and all my stuff's already preloaded in my account. So it should have been a quick process, but it would never go through. So what we kept trying uh, throughout the night never worked. Went back to the Avengers. Uh, eventually the, the system came down to this where it was coming soon. You were unable to add it back to the cart. I even tried going in incognito to see like, okay, how bad is the website? And I was like, ooh, deal of the day, an eight quart crock pot cooker. So I threw that in my cart. I was even unable to buy a crock pot cooker during this time. The entire website was borked, wasn't working. It was just insanity, just complete insanity on the Best Buy website with their servers absolutely melting down. They probably lost about three hours or so of business and it, it eventually just stopped. So we thought we lost all hope um, right around 10 30 or so rumors start hitting that Amazon right here they were going to go live at about uh, midnight uh, eastern time so uh, we were we were trying to get that uh, sometime around 11:45 to 11:40 eastern is when it actually went live we were unable to secure a PlayStation 5 on Amazon during that time. I just, I did never, it never showed up. I think they went out within five to 10 minutes as well. So missed that opportunity. I know a bunch of them, a bunch of people did get them off Amazon. So good for them on that. I know I might be the only streamer come uh, November 12th that doesn't have a PS5, but I'm going to do everything I can to get one. 
uh, as I have done uh, system setup videos. I want to do a PS5 system setup video, so if I can get one, I want to get that up near launch. That would be ideal. Uh, a lot of my previous videos that were really popular, still popular today, I, I set up a PS4, I set up the Xbox, we set up a Wii U, and surprisingly, like, the Wii U is still in my top 10 videos. So thank you all for continuing to watch that content. If you want to check that out, check my uh, videos on YouTube. Scroll way down, because that was when the Wii U launched. And um, that's, that video still gets quite a bit of hits even today, which is shocking. And it's just like Wii U System Setup is the title of it. And I want to put out some more content of that because it seems like the community enjoys that content and is helpful for years to come. And it's also a good way to document the you know launch day, the initial experience of the console on setup before any patches and firmware, and basically the out-of-the-box day one experience and kind of archives that as a reference uh, for people to go back to it, you know, eventually this stuff will be retro in, you know, 10, 20 years. And if YouTube's still around, the videos are still up and accessible. It'd be kind of cool to go back, a little nostalgic trip. So, want to get that content out there, but I need a PS5 in order to do that. So, uh, we tried Walmart, we have tried GameStop, we tried Best Buy, we tried Amazon, we tried Target. None of it was working, but... Uh, right, at, right around um, midnight or midnight 20, Best Buy actually had the pre-order thing come up. We were trying to get into it. It got into the cart. It logged my account in. It took the credit card information. I had to place the order button, and I kept clicking it. And I kept clicking it. And it kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And just when you thought it was done spinning... <gasps> And spinning, and spinning, and spinning. So, what did I do? I went to Reddit, see what other users uh, were having on the PS5 Reddit. See what other users were having as far as an experience goes. They were having kind of the same thing. Some people were getting in, some people were getting out. I don't know if it's all true or not, or people are trolling people. Who knows what reality is on the internet. But... There was a code, a script, that you could come down and actually like right-click the, uh, it was basically the button, open the inspection window here, go into the, the, select the button that it was on, come down here, you were able to type uh, a line of code and then another line of code, and basically what that eventually did was automatically refreshed the screen over and over and over and over and over again every time the loading failed. It somehow detected the spinny logo thing for trying to place the order, and as soon as it failed, it would reattempt it and reattempt it. So I didn't have to actually click it myself, which I was like, that's a godsend. That's awesome. So uh, I was going to be like, well, I'll just leave this going on uh, all night and see if we get an order. It didn't. It never processed. I came to the website being completely... Um, not refreshed at all so eventually it just borked up didn't get it that way unfortunately but it was a cool try and it was really neat to see the console commands actually be able to manipulate a website that way so kind of learned something from that so that's pretty cool and so i was kind of losing hope i was kind of losing hope but what we did find is your exclusive invitation from sony direct so there was a link that was put up a while ago from sony that if you clicked on you could enter your gamer tag and submit it, and that's all that was requested from it. And then they said you could be randomly selected. Well, I've been a PlayStation member since day one on the PS1. I was on PSN the first day it was up. That's how I got the VAMPYRE, my vampire gamer tag, immediately. Um, and I don't have to put any numbers or underscores or spell it any different. I got the actual one I wanted, day one. And we've had you know the, the PlayStation Plus network on there. We've had hundreds of, almost thousands of games from them. Hundreds, a ridiculous amount of hours logged. We're level 14 on the trophies. Not the highest there is out there, but pretty respectable, I think, because that thing barely moves. Uh, you get a couple trophies and it moves like 1%. So, you know, it's, it's a long, long grind on that. But if there's hope for y'all yet, if you signed up for that beta, or I'm sorry, that pre-order email um, to put your gamer tag in and get a chance to do that. Check your email. The title of the email is your exclusive invitation to pre-order. So just, just search your inbox, search your spam folder, go into the search field and type your exclusive invitation. See if this pops up. If you're lucky enough to have it, you'll be seeing the exact same email I have on screen right now. Congratulations, you've been selected. We're pleased to extend this opportunity to be one of the first to pre-order a PS5 console. Pre-order reservation instructions starting 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Friday, 918. Click below to enter the event. This URL is unique to you and not meant to be shared with anyone else. So sorry, y'all. I can't provide this link as it might 
bork my chances to get one myself, and it seems exclusive to each email. So um, you're going to have to get your own email. When clicked, you will be placed in a waiting room. Hmm. When it's your turn, you'll get access to complete your PS5 console pre-order reservation. Things to keep in mind. When accessing the site, you'll be asked for your PSN ID, login, and password. Have these handy. Have your credit card details ready. you got to pay for it somehow. You may add additional items to your PS5 console pre-order reservation. Don't forget those extra DualSense controllers for Air PS5 games. And here's the link you'll click to get it. If the URL, URL is shared with others and they attempt to use it, you may be locked out of the order system. Invite is valid through 9.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Saturday 9.19 or while supplies last. Subject to availability, unit limit supply. For more details, visit our FAQs, blah, blah, blah. So this might be your only chance if you didn't secure a pre-order uh, yesterday. Uh, Check your email. This might be the last thing on this. Also, Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart, Target, Amazon. There might be a chance to get it on those, but you're going to have to be diligent and refresh these pages throughout the day and whatnot. If payment processes fail for any of the orders, which I would imagine some will, not every single order place is going to uh, be authenticated or processed for the payment wise, and that might release some additional pre-orders to the public at that time which might randomly show up throughout the days on there so there is a chance if that happens you know keep keep your eyes on twitter keep your eyes on the reddit the ps5 the ps4 ones just keep your eyes on social media and whatnot uh now in stock might be an option but by the time those alerts go out man you, you're gonna have to be sitting at your computer already up on the site uh just get an edge on those but those would be the options on that definitely check your email for the invitation see if you can get in on that and um, i will include in the description below links to walmart links to gamestop links to best buy links to amazon links to target so it'll make it real nice and easy for you to just pull up these websites keep maybe a browser window open with all these f5 them throughout the day like your brock freaking lesnar and just try to get yourself one and hopefully you can secure it and on november 12th we can be gaming. I'll be picking up the Spider-Man game for sure. Uh, we are live streaming on Twitch. You can go to twitch.tv forward slash Vampire Jack Cool. Same way it's spelled over here. I have been doing the Spider-Man there. We'll be uh, Sunday. We'll be throwing up a video about that. Uh, we'll do another live stream with Spider-Man. I got about seven hours in right now. And so if you want to see that and other content like Sea of Thieves, Apex Legends, go check it out over on the Twitch channel. I got my schedule pending schedule kind of up there roughly so we can check that out and then of course we'll be um, uploading more content to the youtube that you have there so if you found value in this video and you like this content please 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 hit that sub button it really really helps smash the like button as the more likes it gets the more views or the more eyeballs this will get out to so we can get the word out about this and then if you want to get notifications when we go live don't forget to ding that bell so uh, let me know in the comment sections below if you got a pre-order what time you got the pre-order and on what site you got the pre-order and if you had any trouble getting the pre-order um or whatnot or basically what your experiences was with this pre-order if you were trying to get in on this madness that was the playstation 5 pre-orders last night let me know in the comments below your experience with that i kind of want to know what the community and what everyone's general experience was with this if if most people got what they wanted or if most people hit server errors or uh, if you got the email from sony what what the plan is let me know what games you're thinking about picking up and any kind of accessories you're thinking about getting let me know about all that down below in the comment section uh, i'll be sure to check those out and respond to y'all engage with y'all as much as i can so thank you so much for watching this video i hope everyone that's watching this can get a ps5 pre-order if you haven't already and we will see you all on november 12th for the playstation 5 launch if vampire can secure one as well and like i said we'll do a system setup video and document day one experiences with the playstation so that'll be exciting if i can get one if it if i don't get one we'll still have that video it might just be a couple days late months maybe a year who knows i hope it's not a year i really want this thing and uh yeah so appreciate y'all tuning in until next time keep it real